With Petro Poroshenko's inauguration, of course, there are expectations. As Stephanie just reported, Russia has indicated that there could be a solution to the crisis. So have Western powers. Russia says it's time to start a dialogue with Ukraine, and there are reports of an expected meeting Sunday between Kremlin and Kiev officials. With more on whether a deal is possible, CCTV's Nathan King joins us. Hi, Nathan. I say, yeah, you're right. Uh, the fact that Poroshenko assumed office at all is a sign that there is some sort of progress in Ukraine. Remember, just a few weeks ago, the election looked in doubt, as did recognition of the winner. And the fact that the Russian president spoke to Poroshenko in France and the ongoing discussions about a ceasefire in the east of the country and other confidence-building measures are set to go ahead is a sign of hope. And U.S. Vice President uh, uh, Joe Biden in Kiev for the inauguration welcomed the small perceived thaw in Russian-Ukrainian uh, relations, but urged Russia to follow through. We look for President Putin to meet his, make his end to the commitments that he's made um, and, uh, and to uh, deliver on a pledge to actually work with your government to try to, uh, um, try to deal with these issues. President, as just you... But as Poroshenko highlighted in his inauguration address, there are still deep differences over the future of Ukraine. Firstly, he vowed that Crimea, recently absorbed by Russia, was always and will always be Ukrainian soil. He also pledged to move forward with an economic association agreement with the European Union as the step is becoming part of the EU. That position, of course, sparked the current crisis and led to the division of Ukraine. He also rejected a loose federalist system of government favoured by Russia and the separatist uh, eastern provinces. After the speech, by the way, Germany urged Kiev to be cautious in its use of military force uh, in the east. So, Nathan, what now? Where do we go from this point? Yeah, I mean, a lot depends on the reaction of the rest of East uh, in Ukraine and also, of course, of Moscow. However, there are small signs of hope. Russia has further secured the borders of eastern and southern Ukraine, a key demand of Kiev and the West. And Poroshenko, speaking Russian, moving from Ukrainian to Russian uh, during his speech, promised to visit the rest of East and also promised a safe corridor for Russian fighters to leave the East, as well as immunity for those who do not have blood on their hands. Now, remember, Western powers say Russia has less than a month to use its influence to bring about a Ukrainian reconciliation. Otherwise, sanctions against key sectors of the Russian economy will follow. While the situation in Ukraine is still tense and deep differences between the factions remain, direct talks potentially between Kiev and Moscow offer a hope that has been absent prior to President Poroshenko taking well, office. Certainly, hope is a good start. Thank you so much, Nathan King.